Lights, camera, action. Welcome to Doc's Universe, where we dive into the psychological aspects of film and TV shows. For our first video, we're going to be answering the question everyone has been asking. What makes Euphoria different? Before we get into that, let's take a look at what the show is about. If we had to describe it in a single sentence, otherwise known as a logline, we'd say, Euphoria is a TV show about a group of teenagers who are trying to find themselves as they grapple with drugs, sex, and violence. Now, I'm certain this logline attracts most of us filmmakers, as we love to dissect controversial and complex subjects. However, to a member of the audience, it might have the opposite effect. It may hint at a rather non-constructive, depressing, or even a morbid show. And this may be due to films and shows in the past which have dealt with similar topics in an unsparing manner and in a way in which they were indigestible to your normal audience. However, that may not be the case with Euphoria. Let's take a look at three key factors. Number one, the show does not shy away from the raw depiction of substance abuse. We witness the youth using drugs, alcohol, and partaking in anonymous sex as a form of escape. What's interesting is that the meaningless sex, unlike most films, is depicted realistically, exposing its discomfort. It is often used as a coping mechanism. For instance, in season 1, episode 6, where McKay and Cassie are getting intimate, and the following happens. And this is why directing is so important. Although there was only a single script to follow, there were a thousand ways to shoot the scene, which each would have evoked a different feeling. Notice how the director effectively uses inconclusive camera cuts to blur the clarity of what happened. This leaves the viewer disorientated, much like McKay and Cassie. This disorientation gives us, the viewer, a taste of the instability trauma causes in the victim's mind. At this point, the director further solidifies his point by taking us deeper into the dark hole. Let's take a look at how McKay tries to deal with the situation. Euphoria reveals the consequences of abuse and the effect they can have on one's mental health. 
it plays out the darker side of teenage life. And unlike many shows which deal with similar subjects such as Breaking Bad and Ozark, the audience and setting are different. Many films and shows use adult characters where Euphoria exploits the struggles of adolescent teenagers, which is quite daring and controversial. This leads us to the second key factor, the effective articulation of trauma on screen. 